Yo, what up? It's Aaron Moses. And you already know, I'm trying to get that following like King Solomon. So all you have to do to make that happen is hit that like button. It looks just like this. Okay, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you feel. Let me know if you want to get some of these Egyptian divine identity readings based on these energies that I'm about to introduce you to, okay? And all you have to do to understand your identity is add up the numbers, I mean the letters, excuse me, in your name. So for example, my name has 18 letters in the A-A-R-O-N-D-E-S-H-A-W-N-H-I-S-T-E-R, okay? 18 letters, no junior, no senior, no, 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 the second, the third, the fourth, just the first letter in your first name and the last letter in your last name, everything in the middle, including those two letters. So if you have, I think this is what, 19? If you have if you have 19 letters in your name and you're a male, okay, and you were born with male body parts or you're a man, let's say you're a man, all right, so your God would be Haru as a teenager. And appropriately enough, if you're a woman, for the ladies out there, if you were born with lady body parts, your goddess is Paquette or Pachette, which is the evolu or the, the the middle part, the middle point, the midpoint between Bast or Hathor and Sekhmet. Excuse me, but to anywhere between Sekhmet and her evolving into Hathor or Bast, okay? And I'm going to explain what both of those mean. So for the men, for the gentlemen, for those born with male body parts, we have Haru as a teenager or Horus as a teenager. You have to understand where Haru or Hor I'm going to say Haru, where Haru came from. During in the beginning, before the goddess and goddess, the gods and goddesses were even formed, there was a black, a watery primordial soup. Okay, this is where everything came. This is where it's believed that everything came from. And came in the, in the ancient Kemetic mythology. Okay, during this time, only two things existed: this primordial energies these primordial waters where none comes from and a light okay this light represents uh, Jesus and the Holy Spirit in Christianity in the Bible okay but eventually this light would manifest itself inside of Aset or Isis's womb and be known to us as Haru or Horus okay Haru then became a teenager, of course, before he became Haru, the elder. During this time, this is when this is when Osiris was not present. This is when Osiris was was in the underground cooking, cooking stuff up for his new life. This is this is when Haru, the embodiment of Ares, was doing his teenage thing, trying to find himself, being educated. Not being disciplined properly because he didn't have a father, feeling lost, feeling confused, viewing the world in a way that just didn't satisfy him. He always knew there was something off. He didn't even know that his, his, his father was slain by his own uncle. He didn't even know this at this point. He was just going through life with his emotions, learning from his aunts learning from all the, the goddesses, learning from his mother how to use his emotions, learning different forms of magic, visiting Thoth, them talking, and just being, and just, just being as happy as he could, as happy as he was set up to be. Why I'm making this face? Because I am an Aries, and I just, I really connect with that energy. Although this is not my, Actually, my energy is Haru as a baby and Kefra, and I'm I'm more so connect with Kefra's energy than Haru as a baby, but I can just feel it. You see, you see, you see the energy. You see it in my face. 
just that energy, man. Just not knowing, just just being a lonely, lost child without a father. With all this energy, just wanting to be happy and do exercise and just be energetic. Only to find out that you're going to have to fight. You're going to have to go to war a lot. So, yeah, that for the men. Now, for set for for the ladies we have Bachet or Baquet. Now, the significance of this is Horus, I mean not Horus, Ra. Ra when he got older, humans of the earth, of course, were making fun of him because he was getting older and making fun of his appearance and he didn't have it anymore. So what Ra did was create a lion goddess, a lion, a lion deity that he named Sekhmet. He programmed, yes, programmed Sekhmet to run throughout the land, slay anybody who made fun of him, anybody who didn't respect him, and she did just that. She would slay them, and then when they were laying, bleeding, she would lick their blood up. One day, he started to feel really bad about this. He was like, bro, this is getting out of hand. So what he did was, he he took this red-colored beard that looked really closely to, it looked just like blood, poured it on some hills, and called such a uh, second met. I said, second met, you didn't clean this blood up. Can you clean it up? She drank it, and eventually she began to get drunk. And she slowly turned into Hathor. But at some point, she didn't transform all the way. So let me go to my notes and give you the, the, the information I collected during my studies. So we have... Paquette means she who tears. She is considered a synthesis of Bast and Sekhmet, and ancient deities, ancient deities in the two Egypts who were similar lioness war deities. One for upper and the one and the other for lower Egypt. She is likely to be a more ancient regional lioness deity, god of the mouth of the Wadi related to oh, I've scrolled too long too too far I'm sorry those which hunted in the Wadi near the water at the boundary of the desert another title is she who opens the way of the stormy rains which is related to the flash floods and the Merrill Valley that occurs from storms in the area By the time Phuket appeared in the Egyptian pantheon during the Middle Kingdom, Bast came to be conquered, oh, so, excuse me, considered less as a fierce lioness, becoming more gentle as a domesticated cat could be. So let me clear this up for you guys. So Sekhmet was born as a lion, or manifested as a lion deity, a goddess of war, pretty much. After she drank the red beer, she then became Hathor, which is a goddess of love, fertility, and I forgot, to be honest. But you can go to my other videos, I think it's like 14 or 15, and see what she represents. Or you can just Google it. You don't have to watch my videos. Um, and from there... She became, like it says, they split it up between Upper Egypt and uh, Lower Egypt. So some pay more to may pay more attention to Bast, which is the cat-headed deity. Some pay more attention to Hathor, okay, which has she just looks like a normal goddess with the bull horns, with the sun disc. So. Right, here we go. Consequently, Paquette's character lay somewhere between later gentleness of Baz and the ferocity of Second Met. Her strength was considered an inner one more than an outer quality. While retaining all the potential capabilities of the war goddess, if needed. As I'm sorry, these are I don't know how they're wording these these paragraphs and these sentences because I don't see where they put in these pauses so my tones Ugh, I know how to read I assure you it's just they 
This is written like the Bible. It's weird. <laughs> As with Bast and Sekhmet, she's associated with Hathor and thereby is a sun deity as well, wearing the solar disk as a part of her crown. It became said that rather than a simple domestic protector against vermin and venomous creatures or a forest warrior, she was a huntress, perhaps as a wildcat, who wandered the desert alone at night looking for prey, gaining the title Night Huntress with Sharp Eye and Pointed Claw. That is a long nickname. She is said to be a protector of motherhood, as was Bast. In art, she was depicted as the feline-headed woman or as a feline, often depicted killing snakes with her sharp claws. Facts. The exact nature of the feline varied between a desert wildcat, which is more similar to bass, or a lioness, resembling to Sekhmet. That's pretty interesting. That is awesome. So again, guys, if you want a reading based on these energies, I can channel the gods, goddesses, and speak to them and let you know what messages they have for you. Now, this, these types of readings are very fairly priced, very, afford very affordable, fairly priced, and they're amazing. I go very in-depth. You can, I can do them based on your sun sign, moon sign, whatever transits that we're having, whatever time of year it means for you. You can ask questions, whatever you have going on. So, again, DM me on Facebook, Aaron Terrell Moses. Hit me on IG. All that stuff's in the description. Leave a comment on which number you want me to do next, or how many letters you have, excuse me, in your name, and send this positive energy through, man. Oh, these vegetarian chips. Veggie chips. Seasonable portions. Shout out to seasonable portions. Barbecue. Made with potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, and pumpkins. Mm-mm.